This is our realistic trip into labor with our fourth and final baby. And honestly, this was an emotional roller coaster and an unexpected one because it kicked off 10 days before our actual due date. Brody started having really intense contractions in the middle of the night, but we decided they were too far apart. So we woke up as per usual, little snot sucking, few cuddles. And then Brody had her final OB appointment where she found out she was three to four centimeters dilated and could literally pop on a moment's notice. So we had to get everything ready. First order of business was the vag pad on ice. And then we had to build all of our new baby stuff because we had sold all of our old baby stuff because truth be told we never thought we were having any more kids so this was an unexpected one to say the least but eventually we got through a lot surprisingly put the twins down for the nap and then it was time to tackle the car seats and we realized that the only way to make four car seats fit in our car was to buy a new one so we had to buy that new one grab the twins up from their nap and we found them in the same crib but how could you be mad at them look at those smiles so cute but enough was enough we had to drop them off at Grant's and then we got home finished the car seats and Brody started having more contractions so we went to bed and yet again up in the middle of the night googling what we should do and we decided to hold off yet again and we woke up for another day and Brody's mucus plug sounds gross had eventually dropped but somehow she found the will to dance and move like Beyonce and then we had a little special alone time plan for Hudson we had a little scavenger hunt and hid a present from a soon-to-be new baby brother and he was so excited but again the contractions rolled on and then we did a little date night with Hudson which was amazing and then it was time Time to put all the boys down which Brody swore would be the last time as a family of five which is pretty emotional to think about but we had all our bags packed and we went to bed and Brody was right because at about 2 a.m. the contractions were so intense happening every five to ten minutes and we rushed to the hospital and we'll keep you updated what happens next.